Welcome to the Mr. Pop Culture Modern History Video Timeline, the first of its kind. Uh, now this baby took a lot of time to build, and we're going to make it very easy for you. If you love to look at yesterday, last month, last year, 10 years ago, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, it's just amazing. You'll find on the front page here of MrPopCulture.com a video keypad, and all you need to do is either touch or click your favorite year. Literally, it is the years at your fingertips. You won't find any place like this. Let's go to the year 2011, show you what that's like. Now, most of the years are set up the same way. That is, each year is split up into approximately four separate timelines. It was the only way to manage this kind of information. So for 2011, for example, as in most years. Now, some of the 60s and 50s actually have an extra timeline or two, but the uh, years in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s have approximately four separate timelines. So for the year 2011, we've got uh, music, videos, entertainment, celebrity timeline. The next timeline following that is the uh, year 2011 news headlines. And number three is year 2011 in technology. This is a great timeline too. I love technology and I think you will too. And the fourth one here in 2011 is the year two 2011, of course, in sports news and other fascinating facts. Now, each category is separate onto itself, or you can combine all four. In other words, you can scroll this whole year like a book, read it like a book, okay? And believe me, there's so much information you forgot about, and if you're, you're, you're a student of that year, you're going to learn about it. So you can scroll through each year, 2011 being no exception, or you can click your favorite category and go. For example, this is the first category, entertainment, and you'll notice... In entertainment, we include the hits of the day in video form. And for example, January here, 2011, Katy Perry's Firework was a big, 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 big hit record. As we scroll down, we can see other types of videos and stories. Uh, February 2011, we see the halftime show, uh, stories, Mick Jagger, of course, at the Grammys. That was a big story that year. Uh, we do the Grammys, of course, and the, uh, the Academy Awards as they happened in timeline form. Uh, once in a while I could throw in a, a list, say the uh, top music albums to give you perspective, and on and on it goes. Uh, now you can go back up to the menu here and say, hey, okay, I'm done with, uh, done with entertainment, let's go to headlines, news. Well, same thing, it starts now with January, and you can scroll down and read the news of the year. It's absolutely impressive and you're gonna love it. Lots happening that year. The big uh, Japanese earthquake, Osama bin Laden, uh, on and on it goes, and uh, we put as many videos in here as we possibly could, uh, given the extent of bandwidth. Uh, again, uh, Gaddafi, the Gaddafi story that year, and uh, on and on here. So we scroll through news. Now technology, same sort of thing. Uh, Steve Jobs was in the news, of course, Apple, Microsoft. And this lets you know concisely what exactly happened in technology that whole year. It's pretty cool stuff. And uh, so through technology, we scroll 2011, and uh, yeah, Steve Jobs passed away that year. And uh, here we are in sports and other fascinating facts. Again, you can scroll through that. We like to put, of course, the big uh, events of that year in sports, uh, Super Bowl, and on and on it goes. And we mix it with fascinating facts and some celebrity news, too. NBA, of course, uh, baseball news, you name it, it's all there. And at the very end ends with the top movie of that year and the top song of that year. And the top uh, pop hit song that year was Rolling in the Deep, Adele, who made a big impact that year. Anyway, you can read all about it here in 2011 in the Mr. Pop Culture timeline. Thank you for joining me today. And you just go to mrpopculture.com. That's M-R-P-O-P-C-U-L-T-U-R-E and start.